Hello and welcome to Rotated. Nix is I. We're doing more Saturday afternoon. Well, it's now Saturday evening. Sun starting to set. Gaming. Team 1 AS, Team 2 OSP, Dram, Scallard, Flower, Das, Quiz Quiz on Team 1. Heaven Base 2 is Herman, Pie of Reckoning, Internet Explorer, Oka Fritz, who is Sakura Fritz, and Bluebot on Team 2. Looks like the teams are relatively spread out with a strong focus on the Alpha Charlie line. No surprise there. Rotated Nick's eye tends to concentrate a lot of fighting over that middle point in a way that the standard Nix's eye does not. I don't know how much uh, monkey brain is involved there, but presumably a lot. Arboreal creatures like to go up. Driving down here with the ANS. Looks like Quiz Quiz has a Torp and Jam Sprinter. Oh yeah, look at this man. Magnificent. Quiz Quiz on caps. You know, Quiz Quiz is one of the first people that I kind of noticed as like a nebulous regular way back in March or April. I was just seeing him everywhere all the time. And it was always Axfords, 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 450s, 450s, and MCRNs. And watching him uh, basically a year later at this point play caps and play them pretty well is it's, it's pretty neat. It's kind of an odd experience. All right, let's start going through these fleets. We don't we don't need to Grandpa Dark, the ancient days of OSP release, when there were no laws. This quiz has one defensive beam destroyer with defenders, one spy frig. One Torp Jam Sprinter and one Torp S1 Sprinter. Yeah, with well, maybe some of these are defensive, maybe they're offensive, I'm not sure. Those are flying information, and there's two pairs of those. And then one uh, Gun S1 Sprinter off on its own. Scalor, it's got double 450 Axfords. Looks like NECA has been banished to the Shadow Realm, it's unfortunate. Yeah, he's out of the Discord too. I think he's <laughs> died. Uh, these have rebounds, defenders on them. Damn. Says a couple bombers. And one, two, three railgun destroyers, basically empty. So this has got to be like 450 points a pop. And then one Pinard Corvette. Florids rocking double voxels with S2H backpacks. And one Jam Sprinter. Dramus also has double axe for its 450. Is one 250? No, what? Oh my god. One is 450. One is 250 and beam. Which is. weird. It works. It's a really good frontline build. <laughs> But it's very strange. Blue Bite on the OSP team. Has... It's a multi-mission tug. Two, three, four multi-mission tugs. One LRT tug. And one mass driver bulk freighter. Which is upside down. That's illegal. There's no being upside down in space. Herman has, looks like, double mash driver bulk freighters. Oh, man. And this is already going to be a little sad unless their bombers get good work done. EWR tug, LRT tug, two LRT tugs. And an explorer is rocking his monitor blob again. This thing is so menacing. C90s, T81, T30, one of each per monitor. Five monitors total. They also each have one pavis. And then one flex amount, uh, some soft kill, some AMMs, another Pavis and another pinpoint. They're supported by a jam tug, which has C30s, generally has grape loaded. Fritz has clank. Okay, one mine shuttle, one gun shuttle, one jam shuttle. All of them yeeted onto the alpha point. Looks like there's a lot on the alpha point, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll go back there in a second. Another gun shuttle, jam shuttle. Those are flying together in a wing. Another gun and jam shuttle? Yeah. Of course, these have just bellbirds on them, which I don't know. I really like. Maybe, maybe I'm just puppy brained, but I like the lyrebird on the shuttles a lot more than the bellbird because the sheer output is really good. 
got S2 tug, S2 tug, three S2 tugs scattered around the map for presumably glonking opposing capital or uh, cappers. The other cap word. Pi has got double 450 bulk freighters, EWR, and an LRT tug. Man, OSP has a lot of ships, and ANS does not have many ships. This is going to be rough. This would be fine if ANS had a lot more rails, but the sheer firepower of the ANS fleet might be able to overcome all these sprinters and tugs. So I'd like it more if there was more like 120 on the Axfords especially, but we shall see. OSP's managed to capture their natural, ANS captured their natural. OSP's also managed to grab Alpha with losing nothing? Yeah, they haven't lost anything, which is kind of weird. It looks like they're grabbing Delta. ANS not quite able to move out that fast with all these capitals. But of course, once they get there, they're going to have a lot of firepower. And it's getting shape on Alpha and on Delta. They should be able to destroy the shuttles that have gone to Delta on their own and then cap the point. And I don't think this tug is going to be able to support you know, bombers dropping S2s right on their little itty bitty foreheads. Bonk. Or bombshells ripping a sprinter apart. Ah, uh, uh, yes, on Bravo. Unspotted too, so just pause firing. Pause firing right in the middle of the point, and the bombshell does the work. Uh, it looks like he's spreading him out a bit too much. Got burn pinged and locked. locked. All right, well, now it's fucking Jover. <laughs> See, 90 shells are gonna come in hot. Really tear those sprinters to shreds. Oh, there's some missiles coming in as well. Bunch of S2s, it's kind of overkill. Especially since ANS already has the points. Some AMMs out. Those may be hardened skin. Those ate a lot. And they're passing the, uh... Oh, they're coming... Ah, they're going for the ships behind. Or maybe they just missed. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening. I think uh, I think they lost the track on the ship. Is what's what's going on there? Really don't want to be fire command missiles on burn and lock tracks. It's risky business. ANS and OSP are tied on caps, even though OSP is up by twenty points. Bluebots maybe gonna get onto Delta. ANS not jumping onto Delta just yet either. These voxels flying in rail with this jam sprinter. It's so going to be a little slow to move. They're going to be pretty dangerous. And OSP doesn't have anything up here, so ANS does have an opening to just hop onto that point. Oh, uh, yeah. So during all of this, but I noticed this earlier, I didn't mention it. Uh, but Roland's bringing it up. It's really silly. There's a self screening jammer container just flying around on the alpha point, preventing anything from being launched in here. There aren't any, there's nothing down here right now. Um, that it's covering, but I do I do think it helps save the shuttle's lives. Missiles earlier. It's very silly. And of course, if any ANS ships get onto the Alpha Point, they're gonna suffer immensely. Looks like Dramus is eating some 450 fire from above. Yeah, and this is a two. No, this is the 450. Axford, it really can't be. It really can't afford to be eating this much damage this early on. Not doing much. It needs to get to cover right now. And start healing up. Internet Explorer controlling, exerting pressure on Bravo. That sprinter on Bravo finally dies. The tug could jump in and cap it. Although there is now Rotocrosite down here. If anything jumps onto that point and tries to cap it, it's going to get beamed to the face and eat a bunch of 250 RPF. This beam does have three FPAs. It's also got two mount gyros. I don't think there's any ammo elevators for this. No, there's one. Parallax. This thing's silly, but also I think it's a very menacing cap control anchor vessel. Which is something you need on Nyx with how large the map is and how far away the points are. And 
how high the point count is if the person in charge of things was smart and set the point count to 1500 which he did not quiz quiz eating a volley of s2s bye bye on one of the capping sprinters torp gun sprinter still alive that's more important than the jam sprinter LRT rushing down the rails to try and get targeting data on them for the mass driver's counter battery effectively. I think they've got it, but of course, destroyers are so tiny, they're kind of hard to hit with mass drivers at extreme range. As long as they're moving, and these, I don't think these are really moving much. And they're flying, they look to be flying in formation. Uh, so these are going to be pretty trivially shot. Uh, and Bluebot's mass driver has pushed up quite a bit. Actually, it's just about to the middle of the map. Uh, as far as spawn to spawn goes, it's still at the edge at the withdrawal line. Let's push forward like 15 kilometers from its spawn. That's a fair distance. ANS is up on caps now. They do have grabbed Delta, and the voxels are backing off. Didn't take any fire for their trouble, but their little sprinter friend is eating some shots in the rear, taking damage on that main engine. Rocket containers. All right, let's see it. Oh, the destroyer! Doesn't matter. It has defenders. <laughs> Yeah, Two defenders if, on target. Is... Yeah, that's really good. I mean, if it was like a full dump of rocket containers, this thing would have been in big trouble, but just a couple off the backside of a bulk freighter is not that much. Das, still fine on the rails. Staying away, running away constantly, but getting zoned out of controlling the middle of the map, which is a problem, because they're... Well, I guess it's fine. Anus has Charlie, they've got Delta, they've got Bravo. I don't really need that alpha point. They can afford to give it up and let OSP concentrate their forces there if they can control the edge of the map and prevent OSP from pushing into any of those angles. Leave some of the sensor assets have been shot. Oh, not really. It's just these two ships on Delta that have been down for OSP. Meanwhile, ANS has been steadily taking drips and drops of fire here and there. They've lost two sprinters as well. They've got another sprinter that's pretty beat up and is probably going to die here shortly. Oh, yeah. Jams is 450... Axford has taken a lot of damage. These teams are working into overtime to try to bring that up. A couple missiles going out in the cap war on Alpha. But no kills just yet. And 2S3H truly ruining the engine section of this shuttle, but that's about it. Internet Explorer's got really good position on the middle of the map. Mass drivers killing a tug? What? I had to have missed seen that. Because there's a rails coming in and destroying it now, but I would have sworn I saw some mass driver rounds coming in from the OSP side into this tug. There's no way that's right. S2's being fired. On to... The rail ships, all they have are AMMs and chaff. And these are standard MMT Command S2s. AMMs handle it. Rails live to fight another day and continue railing the hell out of blue bots. MMT, these simply do not have the damage control teams to deal with rails. They, they just don't. Rail is actually really good against small ships. However, the railguns are getting mass drivered in return. I believe one has lost its rail cannon. No, it's not lost, but it's redded, which means it can't fire. And another has lost some bits and bobs. Ooh, some big meat shots on those fracturing blocks. Quonk, quonk. Quiz Quiz's beam destroyer is a little bit of 450 fire, but it's in pretty good shape. Overall, one of the Torp brands is also eating a lot of 100 millimeter fire, which is pretty bad. It's going to kill that range quite quickly. Another SPH 
into the shuttle, finally downs it. World's most valuable shuttle right there. Eight points mined off. ANS isn't making a move for it. More importantly, the gunships are everywhere. In fact, ANS should be pulling back just a little bit. Not engaging this quite so aggressively. You know, need to get the OSP fleet strung out a little bit more than it already is. And then punish poor positioning. They have the cap advantage. They have the score advantage. They're up 40 points. They're missling things left and right. Wow. Okay. Bunch of no terminal missiles all get downed by this tug. This LRT tug with one Pavisa arc. Oh my. Another. Where is this going? Another SSJ gets dropped. Just kind of in the middle of nowhere? Uh, I'm not sure what that's intended to cover. Yeah, it's a little odd. OSP looks to be moving down onto Bravo, but they can't quite take that point. The Rotocrozite here with the 250 RPF and the beam. Both very dangerous. Looks like, aha, uh -huh, looks like some shuttles going along on this way outside flank to try and get a capture on Charlie, but I think they're going to be very sad when they run into these voxels, which are currently engaging 450 bulkers at long range. Ostensibly, that goes in favor of the voxels, but they don't seem to be dodging. Oh, they're not even shooting at the bulk freighters. They're shooting at, aha, uh -huh, they're shooting at one of the NNTs. RPFing it entirely unnecessarily, they can lock it and just HE it. Especially now that it's not moving. It tugs your boxy enough that you kind of don't need to open up with RPF unless you're at an extremely long range. You just HE him. Which is very funny how they die extremely fast to 250 AG. Speaking of things dying extremely fast, here's 450 AG. Tearing a fresh tug. The smithereenies. The birthing is down. The posters will never be recovered. All the anime waifu pinups destroyed. Ruined. And it looks like the rest of the ship's not going to be far behind. Some missiles incoming as well. But these are going to get AMM'd. Looks like Pi and Flard finally engaging. Good catch for Flying Fool. Flard launching S2Hs. He's had some trouble last time we saw them. Maybe he's retuned them, or maybe there was just something weird going on with command guides getting jammed. But it might not matter. A lot of AMMs coming out. Ooh, good strikes. Yeah, one just misses anyways. I don't know what's going on with these missiles. There is something wrong with their design. They're missing way more than they reasonably should be. Although those are some good strikes. A lot of damage into that bulk freighter. It's not dead. Certainly aren't HEKP strikes, but that's a good start. If they can follow up with the 250 HE to tear those components apart and disable that ship, that would be really good. For some reason, they're still firing at the tug. Okay, they switch targets. Firing at the bulk freighters. Bulk freighters not aligned to fire 450 at the voxels. Oh, I see the enemy. Oh, there's, there goes the dump. One of the voxels getting 450 AP in the face. It doesn't seem to be orbit dodging at all. I think he's, if these are flying in rel, they're really not going to be able to orbit dodge anyways. These need to be split up and micro a little harder. 450 AP in the nose against a voxel that isn't dodging is going to be absolutely brutal. All those nose thrusters getting taken down. One cannon get a takedown and Dragonfly and Whiplash is taking some damage as well if one of those engines go out. This seems going to be in even more trouble. More missiles getting dumped. Lard recognizing that uh, it's now or never. They actually do just need to kill these. Unfortunately, these are getting dumped at the one that isn't firing at them. And that's already in terrible shape. There we go! Two H is going to the one that is firing back. The enemy Good damage. 
Not amazing. What's been going on when we've been keeping an eye on this? Not a whole lot on the rest of the map, it looks like. Uh, there's still fuck fuck games going on on Bravo, but it's not really going anywhere. There's still the dance going on in the middle of the map. Internet Explorer has pushed up past the alpha point into those middle rocks. It's heading towards ANS's spawn in a natural point. Actually, it's shooting Dramus in the face while Dramus is busy shooting the bulk freighters up on Delta. Dramus also taking some mass driver fire. Very bad, man. We need to stop playing on Nix's eye. My computer cannot handle this. I'm getting some abysmal performance. Pi loses one of his bulk freighters. Second one's not going to be too far behind it. So I need to, it's taking 450 and 250. Dram's now eating plasma from Internet Explorer's big ol' monitor blob. It's going to add up real quick, especially with the mass drivers coming in from every which direction. In fact, the mass drivers ought to switch to uh, one of the other Axfords and let the let the MNs just finish this thing. Ooh. Good catch while we were looking away. Some sprinters came up and mega glonked. The bulk freighters that opens up Delta. In fact, I think that clears out Delta for the foreseeable future. ANS can capture that and keep control on it. And Flard will need to rotate to help control Charlie. Quiz Quiz gets his beam shot out. Internet Explorer just firing at everything from these multi-mission monitors. I don't even know what you call these because these aren't multi-mission monitors. They do one job and it's kill shit. They just have a bunch of different weapons to enable that. The C90 does some DPS without the plasma. The plasma enables the T30 and any other ship. And then the T30 does the real DPS. Alright, one expert has been disabled. Not K-killed, but it is in a really bad spot, and it's not going to be able to fight for a long time. Internet Explorer switches to one of the healthy Axfords out of Scalord. I believe that's a dead birthing. That's a dead magazine! That's a problem! There are... Okay, there is a backup mag. The enemy secured zone dagger. So this Axford is still going to be able to fight. Lost one of his track correlators, which is going to disrupt its ability to spot and fight. Internet Explorer has deflated against the rail ships. And there it just tugs and EWR is all over the place. ANS loses Bravo finally. They're down. They're up by about 40 points, but they are behind on caps. That will add up very quickly, especially since it seems like OSP is going to be able to cap Charlie here before too long and destroy the main combat element of ANS while doing so. Scalard pushing down, trying to get cover from those monitors and the mass drivers, but once you get cover, th then what? There's, there's, there aren't any reinforcements over here. There are no, there are no missile strikes able to come in and destroy these monitors. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen more. Backline missile fleets. In any of these games, really. Out of ANS. Been some direct fire missiles. But none of the, like, oh, this is kind of out of position. Time to murder it, because uh, these, these monitors are extremely vulnerable to getting missiled. They have just a little bit of soft kill and the absolute barest minimum of hard kill. The surrender cube would feast. And it's another dead Axford, or rather Dramus's Axford getting finished off. Monitor Blob's gonna be able to push onto Charlie and push out the other two Axfords, possibly killing them in the process. Flard not rotating down to help. Still hanging out on Delta. That's uh, unfortunate. He's very slowly moving. 
too because it continued to fly in rel formation which is what Florida is obsessed with and we've talked about it multiple times but I don't think that's ever going to change and explore pouncing on Scalard uh, the plasma seems to be missing that might just be a screen error though Yeah, the very slow trickle of plasma from these monitors, it's not that much, but it's enough. Presumably these have some RCCs in them as well to dump out the fire a little bit faster. Let's take a look. Ammo elevator. No, just ammo elevators. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Huh. Neat. Only that's to enable the C90s and the T30s and let the plasma just trail out, which it, I mean, it seems to be fine. This is a really cool little fleet. ANS now capturing Echo. But it might just try to, uh, to mass drivers. Sekar also coming in as Roman spotted with the gun shuttles. Sprinter and Echo gets in, you see, seconds before finishing that cap. Or maybe not, it's just out of power. It's still capping, though. Okay, got it. It dies for its trouble, but that's really strong. That's going to be about a minute 20 of capping points. Really good. ANS needs all the capping help they can get. They're only up by four points, but they do have four to one caps. Managed to get Bravo again. Yeah, Dramus has grabbed a Bravo, and there is nothing in the AO. The enemy is Bravo. I think the Echo shuttles are probably going to head down there. What? Oh, God. I want to see these bombers murder this thing, but they seem to be out of missiles. Oh, yeah. Very out of missiles. Maybe they can give him a little headbutt. Disrupt its maneuvering and its ability to aim. Well, they do seem to be spooking it. It's definitely throwing it in reverse. Real ships continuing to fire at tugs. Which, while valuable, I feel like uh, the monitors that are killing everything is a, a little more important of target. Monitors are capturing Charlie now while they're enabling uh, Fritz's shuttle to capture Charlie. Just gonna put ANS back on the back foot on caps. They're 50 points ahead, 300 points out from the victory. They only have two caps, three, and they're running out of tools. Skellards, Axfords are getting in the fight and trying to kill things. But shuttles are not really your uh, desired target there. And if they engage these monitors, they're just going to die. Dramus's 250 beam Axford is a little bit beat up, but he's fine. He can control Bravo on his own quite handedly. Flards, uh-oh. Flard's gotten in to engage, but he's now engaging the monitors alone instead of supporting the Axfords, uh, which means he's probably going to die. In fact, he's not even engaging the monitors, he's just shooting the shuttles, which on one hand, that is absolutely the Voxel's job. Uh, the monitors are higher priority targets. They're just more important to kill. So that is the meat of OSP right now. All they have left is mass driver, bulk freighters, and capping assets. The monitors are the only things that are fighting, and nothing's really challenging them in an effective manner. Which is starting to add up, it's starting to be a severe problem for ANS. These uh, these voxels are taking damage, especially from the plasma bomb combo. The support sprinter is getting destroyed by the bomb.
the Hesh is also just not kind to voxels and the mass drivers. A little something for everyone. ANS recapping Delta? No, that's OSP recapping Delta now that Fallard's moved off of it. One of the MMTs has moved in and is grabbing the point. Uh, I don't I don't think ANS is coming back from this. Flyard's voxels are just standing and fighting. They're not moving and dodging. Really, you really have to do. The enemy secured zone dagger. Yeah, this happened, I've seen this happen a few times now, so I think we're gonna have to talk to him at the end of the game about how to play voxels. That's okay, they're a very difficult ship to play. Uh-oh. S2 is coming in. And that's going to finish off the Ruby of Adi. Mag crit. Most of the ship's gray. No restores. And Floyd's Dunsky. All that's really left on the map for ANS are two 450 Axfords, three empty rail destroyers. Which are in pretty bad shape, but still, they, they can still shoot. That's important. And a sprinter. A sprinter, which is in the process of getting Mass Driver to death. Meanwhile, OSP has their entire front line in Internet Explorer's monitor fleet. Has quite a few capping assets. And three, well, two completely healthy Mass Driver bulk freighters. And one healthy enough Mass Driver bulk freighter. In fact, what is this lost? Wow. It's yellow on the fleet menu, but it's lost to GPC, a rapid, a berthing, and an E-Reg. This thing's fine. The enemy is securing zone and there's Charlie and us getting on it to try and grab it again, but Internet Explorer can simply peek out from cover. Although his monitors... Okay, just one monitor has eaten a reactor grit. Monitor is going to be able to peek out here and fire at the Axrids and tell them to fuck off or die. The Axrids, of course, have no choice but to cap this point. Otherwise, ANS is going to be out. They're down by about 50 points. And they're 1 to 4 on caps. There it is. ANS recognizes that it's over. I am looking forward to this after action report. Especially the the monitors. Really interested in how the monitors have performed. Yeah, the destroyers not being worth at all, doing very little with their rails. Good damage out of the voxels. Famous getting got okay. pretty early on. And the industry getting blasted. Scalage ships struggling to find the right target to shoot at. Well, that happened. Let's go take a look. Yeah. And well played. Blew out 50k. <laughs> really nice uh, MDL in tug play. Uh, that was this is my idea of Nebulous just kick back. Yeah. You don't even have the uh, the monitor. The monitor is so much better than the tug. Like if you did the monitor, I wouldn't even be able to kill the first one. Hmm? How many sensor pads do we have? Like six. I had two LRTs and one EWR. Yeah, I had two myself. Yeah, I was using one LRT to just uh, you... make the events come closer a bit. Yeah, you you should uh, they... you should invest in, invest the, in the LRT monitor. It's it's it, it, like if you'd had that, my uh, well, Corvettes that, would have just died at fourteen kilometers away. Yeah, I, I think that, I would have. Yeah. 
Can I get an RT? This is really good. Yeah. I need two RTs. I can't. What, what do you What do you think is the anus response to the to the to the mass driver tug screen? Like, because uh, I don't know if you threw uh, a couple penetrated salvos past three edges of me, I'd die. So yeah, the, I'm I just gonna throw that, that out there. You hit my MDLN with yeah, we didn't have any crews. Damage. managed to at least damage one of the monitors because i had some hekp left after dealing with that uh bulker push but yeah. you made my lens sad i just wanted to i, throw had, I had to <laughs> but, but why scary might have all invested in torps on those bulkers with on d i will say that hang up was annoying because i don't know how you had uh What's you had called? a hang up? I did yeah. have a hang up. Hang ups are very annoying against OSP right now. <laughs> but I thought oh. that it made it so I could still transmit from my tug to the LNs, even if they're calm jammed. If they're into the same cone, that's not going to happen. At that distance. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I, unless. Which one was your tug? Was it the one that. Did you it wasn't even tracked. Gel? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I mean... there was one that I was. Blasting Sorry, with RPF or something, but that Strange. probably wasn't yours. I think if you, if the LRT was pointed at the MD lens, uh, in that game, sorry, the hang up was pointed at the MD lens that entire yeah. game, it would make a bit of a difference, but because yeah. I was I'm never caught, not it, even it, the icon. It's hard if you have three, though. <laughs> like, I don't, oh, yeah, we did it. Uh, you can't, you can't get all of them. I don't think that the hang up does as much at the range as we th as we're thinking. I but, did my I job. Know. I ate all. Oh, yeah, one, just one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just have. The oh one. yeah. Right now. Can't can't afford more. But yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, blue. How how did the rail counter battery feel? Like your your MDLN looks kind of fine, but it's hard to tell. Like. It felt completely fine, except when someone yeah. hit the DIC for a second with the missiles. Besides that, I yeah, I, felt that, I ran out of missiles, killing all of your tugs, and so I didn't have any left for the MTLNs. <laughs> it's fucking yeah, nice. I was a little too stressed with the tugs. Completely yeah. disabled my LRT. No, no, no you you did, you did exactly what you're supposed to do, which is like the only thing you could like from my perspective, like the only thing that is harder to deal with than what that was which is already hard to deal with is if it's a monitor instead of an lrt tug that picks up the the corvettes at like 13 kilometers instead of 10. yeah so then like then you can just sit back and kill them and like i, I have no chance to get into jam range you shut your radar off and yeah yeah well gg i'm i gotta be actually slightly productive today so thanks for the game guys see you have a good see ya bye bye yeah. But yeah, Cruise is so back. I should have played it. It's so annoying to fucking deal with even with rail case tunes because you know you never know how long you're gonna have them on radar, so you gotta constantly get target switch. Yeah, that that, that was kind of my that the whole idea of the, that fleet with the two bombers, three three rail stones is is just to try to like duel and and stop the MDLN from just shooting, you know everyone else who's important but to be fair i didn't get to yeah. shoot much besides you <laughs> right you know? yeah yeah yeah. so it's like you neutralize one maybe two mdlns but like you i don't think you can win the fight that i'm trying to fight you know what i mean like the best thing i can do is just neutralize you can um, if you just replace the real guns with more s 2 h dog that's I mean, yeah, I could just run. I could just run five S two H lock. But the problem with that, though, is if I, I, I genuinely think if if OSP brings the monitor, that that your group of lock bets or your group of S two H mirrors just die. Bring some XP. You can afford it. Bring what? XP. Just do a fucking bet wing with XP. Kill everything. It's fine. But how do you? You, you can't even yeah. get. I mean, you can yeah. you you get an elit track with a with a certain. All right, we're well past the point of things being directly applicable to this game, and more into um, uh, discourse on specific builds. You don't need to be here for that. And it also looks like the lobby's closing down for the night. We'll see. People are on and available later.
if you are interested in these sorts of discussions that go <laughs> for a long time sometimes, you can join the Discord. I've got a link down in the description. If you're not, if you're just here to watch videos and have fun and watch us make things explode and listen to me bitch about people playing better than me but not as good as I think they could, um, then that's fine too. That's apparently what I've been doing all night tonight, I think. In my opinion. <laughs> uh... Ah, well. It's nice being in the caster chair. I can sit up in my ivory tower here and cast down judgment and not have to prove my points. But I do really enjoy doing this. I enjoy the casting, I enjoy hanging out and talking. I love this game. I love this game so much that I don't play it. I'm perfectly willing to enable other people to play it and then sit in the box and watch and record and bring it to you, dear viewer. I hope you enjoy it. I really do. See you in the battle space. Good night.